Yo, Hannah. Yo, Hannah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the next episode in the Nameless Art Journal series. We're going to be adding some beads and some charms to our journal binding threads that we left long in the last video. So this is going to make everything a little bit more tactile and it's going to give it, it just kind of enhances all the senses because it has a sound, it has a feel, it looks pretty and you can add really interesting pieces just by tying them on with some simple knots. So I'm so excited for today's video. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this process. Before we jump in though, I want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You guys have heard me talk about Skillshare before in some of my other videos. I'm really excited to partner up with Skillshare and work with them because I really truly love their website and what they can offer. So just in case you don't know yet, Skillshare is an online learning community and they have thousands of classes on the website that you can take for the same price, which is about $10 a month if you do an annual subscription. I'm really excited though because I can offer you guys a two month free trial just by giving you a link in my description box. So if you go and sign up to Skillshare by my link, you can get your first two months completely free so you can give it a try and you can have a look for yourself. Skillshare is similar to YouTube because it has lots of different creators on there teaching different classes in so many different categories. So if you would like to take advantage of the two month free trial, the first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the description box can get those first first two months completely free and as I've said before it's just such great value all from the comfort of your own home so I hope you guys will check them out and let's get back into this video so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add some beads and charms to your binding threads and this is actually going to be quite a quick video because it's really simple it's there's not actually that much to it once you've got your strings on your journal, which you should by now if you've bound your book. We're literally just going to be adding beads and charms onto those threads. And so it's important to have your strings nice and long to start off with because we can always trim them when we're finished. Have all of your little found objects and beads all together before we start. I like to pull things out beforehand so I can see how they look alongside each other. And then we're just going to start choosing strings to add beads to. It's really as simple as that and start threading things on. I like to add buttons. I like to add beads. I also like to add any found objects. So here I've got like a souvenir spoon. I've got these little scissors that aren't sharp, which is kind of important. I've also got little sewing spools and washers and just random things that I found around my house and from my craft rooms. Use your creativity to pull things together. Anything that has like a hole you can thread through or something that you can tie a string around nice and tightly. All we're going to be doing is, is adding our bits and pieces on by threading them through the string or tying them on with really simple knots. So you can add as many beads and charms as you like to one piece of thread. I usually like to just do the top part of the thread so that the end has some some thread hanging off it. I don't like to bead all the way down to the bottom, but you could add as many beads as you want. You could bead all the way to the bottom of the thread if you wanted to. I like to just sprinkle, I, I'm calling it sprinkle, but sprinkle a little bit of charms here and there onto each thread so that everything sort of hangs in a way that complements each other as a whole. Instead of looking at one string as, as one embellishment, they kind of come together to embellish the book. So you have to look at all the strings as a whole once they're finished, which is why I like to just do a little bit of beading onto each thread. And all you're going to do is add your beads and your charms by threading them through and then tying off simple knots whenever you are finished with that thread. So sometimes you may have to tie a knot two or three times to make sure that the bead isn't going to come off the end. I like to finish with a very, very small bead on the end so that I only have to do one or two little knots and that holds everything onto the string. With things that you need to tie, I like to just as you can see with my scissors, I took two threads and I tied them together around the scissors so that it had that extra bit of strength to hold it on. So tying the two together just makes it feel like it's on a little bit firmer. I did the same with the souvenir spoon. And you can see that the knots that I'm doing are just super simple knots. I'm just tying the string around itself, tying it nice and tightly, and then either double or triple knotting the same thread so that's not going to come undone. Just make sure that it's not going to be able to slide off whatever you are attaching to the book. 
I like to do some beads at the top and some beads that hang a little bit lower or uh, lower down on the thread as I said before because that you have to kind of look at it as a whole I like things to sit in different positions so that when they're hanging beside each other they really complement each other and your eye can kind of just move around the charms if that makes sense so there's really not that much to it I'm literally just I literally just thread on my buttons, thread on my beads and tie them off and make sure they're not going to be able to come loose or fall over the knot. You may have to get creative with your knots and how you thread things on depending on what object you have but just really make sure that everything isn't going to come off by threading and tying however many knots you need to do. With my little bottle here I'm again just tying some knots, a really simple knot around the top of the bottle. Because of the shape of the bottle it isn't able to slip off so I just do like a double or a triple knot around the top of the bottle and that just keeps on really well. What I really like about this method of adding charms to the journal is that it's easier and quicker than using like jump rings and chains and things and also you don't have to have jewellery making skills or jewellery making tools. You just need to be able to tie a simple knot which is kind of why I started doing all of my beading like this because all I had to do was tie knots onto strings and I really much prefer to use my hands when I can rather than using a tool I feel like I have more control so I really just like to do my beading like this I like the way that it looks as well and I also really like how easy it is to add to this so if I decide I want to add something else to this journal in say a year's time I can do that really really easily so that's basically it you guys super duper easy if you have any questions leave me a comment down below I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you are enjoying this series. Make sure you get your charms on this week so that next week we can start using our journal. And again, you guys, just a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys will take advantage of the opportunity to learn on Skillshare. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.